<laughs> so it's a great pleasure to meet Dale Burgess for the very first time. Um, Dale's a very important part of Milton Contact. We do publishing, but we need to get our books printed. So tell us a bit more about who you are and who you work for and what you do. Uh, well, my name's Dale Burgess and I work for the Burfords Group. Uh, we have two outlets, one in Stevenage and one in Hastings. Uh, the Stevenage plant is purely a book production facility uh, that produces litho and digitally printed uh, mono and colour hard and softback books. Mm, that's brilliant. Well, as I say, we've been using you for a whole range of different services. And so this is an example of a, um, of a grayscale book or black and white book. Yeah. And so this is a local run copy. How, how would that be done? And uh, this, was a, this was actually produced on a, a digital press. Mm -hmm. um, using coated paper, which is unusual mm -hmm. in mono books because normally you would use uncoated papers. Mm -hmm. uh, it was produced on a mono press and perfect bound. Mm -hmm. So it was all produced digitally with new technology rather than the old fashioned smelly ones <laughs> and, and the old lipo presses. So um, yeah, that's a, that's a fairly straightforward product for what we produce. That's really, could you just hold it a bit higher so it shows the camera? That's yeah. great, thank you very much. So that's it's, a, that's yeah, good it's, just a, it's what we would call a, a standard product yeah. um, for us. It's yeah. just a run-of-the-mill, very easy, yeah. simple book for us to produce. Yeah. Well, not only were you just dropping by to, so that we could meet personally, you actually delivered my new book, Marvellous Mammoths. So th this is in colour, so could you tell us yeah. a bit about the process that would have gone through? Uh, through well, again, with, with this particular book, this was actually produced using digital technology again, mm -hmm. but it was a uh, colour digital technology. Mm -hmm. um, and it's actually printed on a Konica Minolta BizHub, which is a, a new device. Um, and again, perfect bound. So... It's um, the the problem with a lot of these type of books that you find in the market is if they're produced by a printer that doesn't use the correct glue, they tend to you open them up and they fall mm. apart. Yeah. Um, normally with coated papers you would normally sew them, mm -hmm. but obviously sewing costs money. Mm -hmm. uh, we do actually offer a sewing service, mm -hmm. but um, uh, this was standard perfect bound hot melt glue. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's um, yeah, it's a, it's a very good product, produced a very good quality mm. finish as you can see. Yeah. I love it, and the the colour reproduction is really the thing that impresses me. It's quite a new machine that you've got it got there, but it's uh, really crisp on that front. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good machine. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Now, the the other thing that really surprised me was for another client. Um, they came through. We started off with the paperback, and it then got through. They said, "Oh, I had to have a hardback, and then had a flyleaf cover." We've got this lovely one, the Fen Farming Family, yeah. just done by Leslie Goad. Yeah. Um, could you just hold it a bit closer to you? That's great. Thank you. Uh, and so you were telling me some quite amazing things now about hardback books and hardback production. Yes, I mean, uh, well, again, this, this book was actually produced using digital technology again. Mm -hmm. um, case binding is a bit more of an art as opposed to the softback binding. Yeah. Um, and again, it's because it's a, a book that has a, a loose jacket on it. Mm -hmm. um, and also has Oh, yes, yeah. show, show, the, show uh, the gold it, lettering. It also has a material finish, which is yeah. a wibbling finish, mm -hmm. and then has a gold blocking on the spine. Yeah. Um, some clients would actually have that gold blocking on the front and the spine. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it just depends on mm. cost. Mm. Um, and the, be the beauty about things like this is we have a, we're probably one of the only printers actually in the UK that actually has a ha hand craftsman bindery. Wow. So if you want short print of these, we can produce them. If you want mass produce, we can do them as well. Mm -hmm. um, but they are, again, they're becoming very, very popular purely because of the fact that the cost to produce has come down quite dramatically. Mm -hmm. um, over the last sort of three or four years, you've gone from an extra five pound a copy to produce a hardback, mm -hmm. um, from a softback to probably about one pound fifty to two pound a copy now, mm -hmm. extra. Yeah, yeah. And of course, the things it's like the fly leaf and the, and the gold lettering then is, is a bit yes, extra. I mean, things you like that are extras, and yeah. we can also do coated paper sewing, mm -hmm. uh, head and tail bands. So you end up with a head and yeah. tail band in the spine. Yeah. Uh, all those sort of things, all added extras, but yeah. they can all be done. Yeah. Well, you and I, we've been dealing with books for, and uh, dealing with each other for, for nearly a decade now. We've yes. seen some tremendous changes oh, um, yeah. going on. Technology so. is uh, changing every year. So. Yeah. So what do you see is coming up in the, uh, in the future? Um, at the moment, the latest technology on the printing side of things is uh, inkjet. Mm -hmm. um, inkjet, at this moment in time, you are talking about a million pounds investment for Ooh. the machine alone. Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, you've obviously then got your click rates, which is how many sheets pass through the machine. Mm. Um, at the moment, we won't invest in that because a the capital outlay is too high, mm. and at the moment it doesn't produce a good enough quality for what we want to be offering our clients. Mm. Mm. Um, so we are concentrating purely on the toner-based product, mm. um, and we will concentrate on inkjet as and when it 
Mm. It's like with any technology, it gets cheaper yeah. um, as it's been around for longer. So yeah, uh, yeah we're, we're not interested in inkjet at the moment. It's, mm. um, it's something we're watching, but mm. it doesn't supply us with a, yeah. a good enough quality product or at the right price. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm using you as a small publisher um, for my clients to have print runs. Generally, I think the smallest we've done is about 75 and going up to, um, to 200. Um, but who do you see as your clients for your particular branch uh, and the sort of print runs that you can yeah, do for nowadays? Me, for, me, for me personally, working on the sales side of things, uh, my general client base is self-publishing authors, mm -hmm. um, small to medium publishers, mm -hmm. uh, but we also deal with some of the bigger publishers, people like Bloomsbury, etc. Um, I personally prefer dealing with self-publishing and small publishers because you have a better relationship with them and you get to work with them on projects, whereas with the bigger boys, it's here's a file, print it, and deliver mm -hmm. it. Yeah, um, but I'll say it's it's a, it's a nice market yeah. to be. And we were talking about copy number, um, and I mean there was all this mad rush about print on demand in the in the past, um, but I think realism realism has sent in. So what what do you think are sort of reasonable numbers of books to have to publish? What's uh, the, the, the minimum that quantity for? that we were physically print is thirty, mm -hmm. um, and the reason we do that is because with the setup of the machines and everything, yeah. thirty is a good starter. Um, I would say our average run for self publishing and for publishers. Is probably actually about 150 copies, uh -huh. okay. which is um, which means the numbers are increasing compared to where they were. Yeah. Um, print on demand is our, I, I personally think is it still has a place in the market, but I don't believe that actually a lot of the publishers are actually using print on demand as much now. They are tending to use a new catchword, which is uh, auto stock replenishment. So they are printing small quantities mm. and delivering them straight into the warehouse. Mm. That's great. Well. I've enjoyed working with you for the past few years and hopefully we'll be working together again for the next decade or so. So thank you very much, Dale, okay. and no for problem. your time and giving this conversation. Thank you.